Well, not this particular bird, Ali. This bird does not spend any time in a tree whatsoever. In fact, it's a ground-dwelling bird. It is a red-crested Quran, and you can see the beautiful black chest. The reason why we know it's a red-crested Quran is because that black doesn't extend all the way up to the beak. If it did, it would be a black-bellied Quran, but this is all black-bellied busted, should I say. So the red-crested Quran, you'll find them often in places like this. This is an area that's just been recently cut as a fire break. So is if there is a fire somewhere, we can be able to stop it and not have it cross this area. And what it's doing is it's opened up this grass area for hunting. And so this... Quran has now come in and it's using the fact that it's shorter grass to be able to spot insects that have made their homes here and will be able to then hunt fairly easily. But you can see as soon as it turns its back to us, look at how that camouflage starts to work. So when we see it from the front, big bright black color, it stands out very easily. But as soon as it turns its back, it becomes very difficult to see and becomes one of those birds that you have to actually look quite carefully for them and they can often hide in plain sight, particularly when they get into the long grass then it becomes very difficult to see them. And they have the most amazing display, these guys. And males, when they display to the females, they'll fly up and do this suicide dive towards the ground. And then at the last second, they open their wings and land. And they also have quite a nice call where they make a sort of tapping sound to start. And then it goes into this feverish, high-pitched whistling towards the end. So quite a extravagant display that they've got. Now the reason why they've got such sort of contrasting color with the black in the front and that more camouflaged wing pattern on the back is all there designed as flash coloration. You see now when it gets into the longer grass it becomes a lot harder to see. But flash coloration basically you see it on a lot of grasshoppers, you'll see it on some birds, is where a certain color is effectively flashed to a predator and so that predator actually then starts to look for that particular color itself so it will look for any sign of this black but then when it folds its wings and turns its back to the predator it will then blend in with that camouflaged back wing section now ryan you say it looks like a mini ostrich well they do the quran's are all sort of very similar to the ostriches in, in terms of not only how they look but their behavior they tend to rely more on being on foot than flying even though they are able to fly and you'll find that they have these long long legs big body and then a long neck with a small head. So very similar to ostriches in a lot of ways. I'm quite surprised. They're generally not too tolerant of us as people and cars. But this one's obviously loving the fact that it can get so much food from the fire break that its fear of us is being far outweighed by food source. And that's why it's actually coming closer rather than running away. They typically are not easy to actually get onto camera, these guys. Yes, we're talking about you. David, you say this is number 43 for your bird list. Well, that's excellent news, David, and hopefully we will continue to grow your list. And remember that the summer is starting to come, and when summer comes, well, the bird list will explode exponentially, and we should be able to get you well over 100 fairly quickly. So it's great news that you are keeping a list, and for those of you that are new viewers, I encourage you to do the same. It is quite a fun thing to do to try and see how many birds that you can see with us on drive and some of you guys have amazing lists that I know are well over the 230, 240 mark. So that's pretty good and something to aspire to. It would actually be nice to know who's got the highest list of our Safari Live viewers as to how many birds you've all seen. Maybe you can post hashtag Safari Live what your lists are and we'll see actually what the highest number of birds is for this area given that you guys get to watch a lot of the drives. So it'll be quite interesting.